Hey guys, Nitno here. Today I wanted to bring you guys a great way to make money on the new reserve military base. Now first off, I want to give a shout out to Pestily. Yesterday he came out with a video highlighting a similar run, so check out his video in the link below. This run will be a little bit of a different route that I have pieced together with a lot of great tips from the EFT Reddit community and tricks I found out on my own. Hopefully you will be swimming in money in no time. We're going to be using the sewer exit so you cannot have a backpack on this run. That's a little weird because usually on a loot run you're trying to pack as much as you can. But in this run we're just going to be using a vest. I like to use a scav vest because I like to just run a pistol and a scav vest on these runs. That way if you die it's like whatever. But on the flip side, if you want to pack a lot of loot, you're going to be going with a more expensive rig. So you weigh the pros and cons. If you're going to be spending 50k in a rig, but maybe you can carry out an extra 100k worth of items, then that's worth it. But if you die with the 50k rig, then you're losing that 50k. So it's up to you. All right, so we'll be going through these double doors. They're facing the radar tower, basically just down the hill of the radar tower. You can't miss this building. We're going to be going in what I believe are server racks, uh, basically looking for electronic parts like these military cables. Those go for about 30k. And uh, let's see, these are the real money makers here. Those are about 100k each. So already we're looking at 230k. So that's a good start to this run. Now, I don't want to set your expectation too high. These runs I have found, I've done about 40 of them so far, and they're hit or miss. Sometimes you'll look at these racks and there'll be nothing there, and you'll think, man, this is a bunch of BS. What kind of guide is this? Um, but then the next run, you'll go in and you'll find 200k off the bat. So just keep running the runs. We're aiming to do these runs at about 10 minutes a run, so they're quick. So if you don't get a good run, requeue go again and just keep grinding out this and you'll get a good amount of money in no time. One thing to keep in mind on these runs is to check the floor. Sometimes near these electronic boxes there's items on the floor, I've found graphics cards on the floor, I've found quite a few LCD screens. So every little bit adds up and you just want to be packing as much as you can into these runs. This spawn here is a little weird. It's like an invisible box. So make sure to check that. There's almost always items in it, but for some reason the item, it just like sank through the box. So make sure to check that. So this is pretty much gonna wrap up this building. We're gonna exit through this hallway. Take a look at a seat. Sometimes there's a gun there. So now we are gonna be going through this crawl space. Probably would not have known that was there unless you watched a video. That's pretty sneaky. Check this guy's body too, I've actually found a couple rare items on him. And we're going to be running across this courtyard. Be careful. Sometimes there are spawns here and they'll kill you real easy. So if you want to be more careful, you can actually go through those bushes and kind of walk your way through. Either way, we're going to be going up to the third floor here. Sometimes you can find electronics in this room, so make sure to check. This is a nice little cheeky spot. You're going to be jumping out this window, and you're actually going to be going into a room that should be locked, but you can get in through that window. There's mostly electronic parts here, and I've actually found quite a few Tetris for Bitcoin here. And there's actually a Tetris right here. So yep, you trade those Tetris for Bitcoin, and if you keep doing these runs, I've found quite a few of those. And now as we exit, we're actually going to go out the same window we came in. Try to aim for that ledge, you take no fall damage if you hit that. And we are going to move on to our last final building of this run. Basically we're just going to hit two weapon crates. In a perfect run, you'd leave with two full size weapons. So basically you'd have a attack rig full of items, you have your pouch full of items, and then you'd have a weapon in your hand and a weapon on your back and then you can exit with a full stack of items given that we cannot go through the sewer with a backpack. 
And this final sprint for the exit is kind of a clencher. Sometimes you'll see scabs in these bushes, but I found this route, although it's indirect, is probably the safest route. You avoid most of the scavs. And you have berms, these kind of mounds of earth on each side. So if you are getting shot at, you can kind of duck down and you have some cover. This barbed wire here, I always hit it no matter what I do. Uh, so <laughs> basically, now you're gonna extract outside of this grate. I just lay down, avoid any scab shooting at you, and you are good to go. So that was actually only a seven minute run, and you saw all of that loot that we extracted with. So, in a perfect world where you're not dying all the time, and you're extracting with all of that loot, you'll be making a good amount of money per hour. So I just want to show you kind of an example of what we're working with. And I want to say that was about three hours of runs with me just kind of hanging out though and making lunch. Not really grinding my hardest. And I started with about, what, two and a half million and ended with about five and a half. So we're talking about three million profit. And if you're really grinding, you might be able to get better results. So good luck out there, guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, Hit that sub button, hit that like button. Either way, guys, I appreciate all the support. Have fun in Tarkov. Take it easy. Peace.